Picking between Wix and Shopify isn't just about templates and price tags, it's about building the right foundation for your business. If you choose the wrong one, you'll either be boxed in or you'll be buried in features that you just don't need. So in this video here, we'll break down what each platform really does best so that you can make the smart call before wasting time, money and momentum. So let's not pretend that Wix and Shopify are trying to be the same thing because truthfully, they're not. Wix is for all websites, right? You can build almost anything with it. So whether you're a coach, a wedding photographer, a small e-commerce brand, a yoga studio, or a freelancer trying to you know, look legit online, Wix gives you the tools to get your site live fast. No coding, no developers, just a clean interface and full drag and drop freedom. You can build landing pages, portfolios, blogs, contact forms, or even throw a store in the mix, and it all just fits together. And a quick side note here, if Wix seems like something that you want to try out, you can click right up here to try their free plan or check out the link in the description below. And if you end up upgrading to a paid plan on Wix in the future, that link will actually get you the best pricing available. Now, Shopify, that's a different story, right? It's built for one thing, which is selling. Not, you know, maybe I'll sell a few products here and there, kind of selling either. Shopify is meant for people who wake up thinking about inventory and fulfillment. It's a full-blown e-commerce machine, and that's both its strength and its limitation. Because here's the thing, if you're not building a store or if selling is just one small piece of your brand, you're gonna feel boxed in. So right out of the gate, the biggest difference isn't about pricing or templates, it's about your intent about the site that you're trying to build. And now let's go ahead and get into how that plays out when you actually start using the e-commerce tools. Okay, so this is where Shopify really steps onto its home turf. If your business lives and dies by online sales, Shopify is the heavyweight champ. It's built to handle serious e-commerce and it shows. Everything from payment processing to inventory management to taxes to shipping, it's all built in and it's all optimized to scale. And by the way, if you want to try a free trial of Shopify, go ahead and click right up here or click the link in the description below. Uh, one side note, and this is pretty cool, after the free trial runs out, you can actually just pay a dollar for three more months. Anyway, let's start with the basics. So both Wix and Shopify, they let you sell physical products, right? Digital downloads, even event tickets, you name it. They both offer shopping carts, checkout pages, and integrations for point of sale systems. But beyond the basics, that's when things really start to shift. So Shopify makes the complex stuff feel simple. You can automatically calculate taxes for different states and countries, uh, print shipping labels straight from the dashboard, and connect with a massive list of shipping carriers. Now with Wix, you'll be doing a lot of that manually unless you pay extra for third-party tools. And then there's the App Store. So Shopify's app ecosystem is on another level. Thousands of tools are designed specifically for e-commerce with things like you know upsell funnels and back-in-stock alerts or Facebook shop integration, uh, SMS abandoned cart recovery, and loyalty programs as well. It's a whole universe built around helping you sell more, more efficiently. Now Wix does have an app market too, but it's smaller. It covers the essentials, but once your store starts getting traction, you may hit limitations faster than you think. And that leads us to something a lot of people miss, which is if you're only selling a few products here and there, like a musician selling merch or a creator offering a digital product, Wix is perfectly fine as it does have true e-commerce functionality built in. It's quick to set up and it gives you just enough tools without overwhelming you. But once you hit that growth curve, say 100 plus orders a month, Shopify starts to make a lot more sense. It handles complexity better. It helps you scale without duct taping you know, a bunch of different tools together. So here's the plain truth. Shopify is better for medium to large e-commerce stores. But for just about everything else, Wix wins, hands down. You get more flexibility and easier setup and a better experience for building anything that's not a full-scale online store. And now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about how both platforms make your site look good because obviously your website design matters just as much as what you're trying to sell. So whether you're selling products or showcasing a portfolio, your site needs to look professional. And here's where Wix and Shopify differ. Wix offers over 900 templates across every industry from restaurants to coaching. Some are dated, but most are clean and modern. And more importantly, they're not locked in, so you can change the text, the layout, spacing, pretty much anything. Total visual control. Now Shopify takes a more streamlined approach, right? There's nine free themes, 
and over 70 paid ones, you know, ranging from 180 to $350. All of them are clean and optimized for sales, but customization is very limited. Now you could tweak basics, but deeper edits often are gonna require code or a developer, even for something like changing, you know, an out of stock label. So the trade-off is that Shopify's design, you know, they're, they're polished uh, and conversion focused, but Wix gives you far more creative freedom, which can make it easier to launch a site that feels more, you know, more like you. Now, looks aside, what really powers your site is the tools behind it. So let's get into the app ecosystem next. And this one is a big deal. So this is where the gap between Wix and Shopify gets even wider. So think of apps and integrations as kind of power-ups for your website. They're what take your site from you know, basic and functional to automated and scalable. And when it comes to e-commerce power-ups, Shopify wins hands down. The Shopify app store has thousands of apps, literally. You know, if you need to run email campaigns, well, there are dozens of options. If you want to sync your inventory across, you know, Amazon, Facebook, and your site, that's easy. Looking to add live chat, product reviews, countdown timers, loyalty programs, or even SMS marketing, well, all that's built in, and most of it plugs into your store in just a few clicks. The ecosystem is deep because Shopify has been laser focused on solving e-commerce problems for years. And developers know this, which is why they keep building tools specifically for Shopify users. You'll find solutions for almost any pain point that you run into, and they tend to work really well right out of the box. That said, Wix also has an app market, right? It's solid, especially for your general business needs like email marketing and appointment booking, uh, social integrations, forums, CRMs. It's enough for most small businesses and simple stores. But once you really start needing more advanced things like you know, real-time shipping estimates and uh, subscription billing or advanced analytics, you may find that Wix's options come up short. Now, to be clear, that's not a knock on Wix, right? It's just a reflection of what each platform is really built for. Wix is designed to be an all-in-one solution with fewer moving parts and more simplicity, while Shopify is meant to be 100% focused on e-commerce so that you can customize the heck out of it as your business grows. But here is the bottom line. If you need a lot of automation and you're planning to scale aggressively, Shopify's app store is a serious advantage. But if your needs are more straightforward and you really don't want to drown in all these different app subscriptions, Wix's simplicity might actually work in your favor. And speaking of subscriptions, it's time here to break down what this all actually costs. So starting with Wix, their pricing can look super appealing at first glance, right? You'll see a plan there that starts at $17 a month, but here's the catch. That lower tier plan is just for simple websites. If you wanna sell products, you'll need one of their other plans like the core plan, which starts at $29 a month when paid annually. That plan includes online payments, basic marketing tools, and some decent storage and bandwidth as well. Wix also offers higher tier plans with more storage, analytics, and tools but for most people, Core is a really good starting point if you really wanna sell with e-commerce. Now, Shopify keeps things simple, right? Every plan includes e-commerce. Their lowest tier plan, Shopify Basics, starts at $29 a month, and you get all of the essential tools, so unlimited products, two staff accounts, shipping discounts, abandoned cart recovery, and access to the full app store. But the real difference shows up when you start digging into what's included and what gets added later. So for example, Wix bundles more built-in features like you know, email marketing and a simple CRM tool without needing add-ons. On Shopify, you might need to install extra apps for some capabilities, and some of those will cost you know, $10, $50 a month on their own. And also worth mentioning here, Shopify has transaction fees unless you use Shopify payments. And some third-party payment processors may charge extra as well. Now, Wix doesn't charge transaction fees at all, but the options for processors are more limited. So here's the big takeaway here. Wix might save you money up front if your needs are simple and most of what you need is built in. But Shopify can get pricey fast once you start adding apps, plugins, and processing fees. And if you grow big, well, the extra cost may be worth it. But cost isn't just about dollars, right? It's about what you're really trying to build. So let's wrap it all up and talk about who each platform is actually best for. Okay, so after everything that we've just covered, who is Wix really for and who is Shopify really built for? Well, here's the simplest way to break it down. If your main goal is to build a clean, functional website, maybe with a blog, you know, some service pages, a portfolio, or even a small store on the side, Wix is the better choice. 
It's faster to set up, easier to design, and gives you more flexibility without needing extra apps or code. Even if you're planning to sell a few products like you know, merch, templates, or a course, Wix has more than enough to get the job done, and it'll likely cost you less while keeping the process straightforward. But if you're building an online store, and that's the core of your business, and e-commerce is it, where selling is, isn't just a feature, but it's the whole business model, then Shopify is where you want to be. It's built for scale, it automates the messy stuff, and the app ecosystem alone can carry a store from zero to hundreds of orders per day. So take a minute to ask yourself, are you really building a website that happens to sell things? Or are you building an e-commerce business that runs entirely online? That answer right there will tell you everything that you need to know. And as I already mentioned, you can find the links in the description for the absolute best pricing on either of these platforms. And also, if you still aren't sure of what platform to use, make sure that you post a comment and ask me. I've built so many websites over the last 10 years, and I would love to help you out.